it's your boy Akin Model. I'm back with another video. And I know you guys are thinking, how do I get out of the West? I know some of you guys want to be passport bros. You want to start traveling. Maybe you've got your passport and you're looking at it and, and the book is wide open and it's empty, no stamps on it yet. And you think, what do I need to do to get out of the West? Well, you went right, you came to the right video. My name is Akin Maru again. I'm back with another video and I'm going to give you a certain, I'm going to give you certain steps and I'm going to give you initial steps on how to start working your way out of the West. Now, the first thing you need to do is think about why you want to leave the West. Why do I want to leave this Western country? I'm living in this apartment. It costs me $1,800 to $2,000 a month. I have a roommate or I live by myself. I have no girlfriend, all my relationships are meaningless. I can't really stand going out on dates because most of these girls are using me for free dates and I'm getting nothing out of it. Um, all the relationships I've had, uh, I've got nothing out of it. I've had no, I've had no value. The, the, the ROI of what I invested is, is bad. And I'm thinking, well, I want to leave the West. Well, here are steps you need to make. The first thing you need to do is why. You need to think, why do I want to leave the West? Do I want to leave the West for, like I just mentioned, to get better quality of women, to see if you can have a long-lasting relationship, or even get married in other countries, or raise a family, uh, or establish or build a legacy as they say right or they just want to save money i'm tired of paying all these bills inflation is high uh, a dozen of eggs now cost six dollars and it was four dollars three dollars a couple of years ago everything is high my electricity bill is high my cell phone bill is high uh, these jobs are just dead end i just feel like i'm in a bubble right the society is trash what do I need to do to get out? Now, you need to think about things, why you want to get out. And the second thing you need to start doing is what countries do I need to start visiting to see if I can move to, right? Is it Mexico? I know that Mexico City is very big. You can live in Polanco, which is some of the high-end areas in Mexico City. Or you can go to La Condesa, which is like in the middle. It's in a mix. You have coffee shops, you have parks, you have gyms, you have Starbucks, you have, it's developed. Or you want to go to Sola Roma. You want to go to uh, the, the inland of the city or outside of Mexico City. You want to live in Oaxaca. Or you want to live on the coast, right? You don't want to live in the touristy areas like Cancun. You don't want to do that because it's like living in the U.S. You want to go to Tulum. You want to go past Tulum to Merida. Or maybe you want to. You don't want to go that far. You want to live in Playa de Carmen, which is, you know, a drive. is in between Cancun and Tulum. When you drive in, when you when like when I went, I rented a car in Cancun airport, I rented a car, and I drove to Tulum. So on the way is Playa de Carmen, and then you go, and then there's other little cities in a way, and then you go all the way to Tulum, and then past Tulum is Merida, and then you keep going and going, right? You need to figure out, right? Do you want to go to Colombia? Maybe you don't want to, maybe you like Colombian women, maybe you like the Colombian culture, maybe you've been kind of dipping and dabbling in Spanish, maybe you don't know how to speak Spanish, maybe you've been learning. This You need to start investing. There are things that you can do to start to get yourself out ready to get out of the West, right? Do you like South America? Do you like Central America, right? Do you like that better? Do you like the Asian culture better, right? You've seen videos of Thailand. You've seen how the properties are very, very affordable. You can get a very nice condo for $300 a month, right? Are you already thinking about those things, right? So you need to go on YouTube, start watching these videos of of these places that you want to visit or don't, or you don't even know where you want to be yet, right? Or maybe you want to, you like African women, you want to start in Africa, or you just mainly just want to go to Africa, you don't want to go anywhere else. Or maybe you like Middle Eastern women, maybe you, you're thinking about converting to Islam, maybe you are Islam, maybe you don't even care about Islam, or you just want Islamic women because 
they are very they're they're very very structured based on their religion like it depends on what you want to do you don't have to go where everybody's going you don't have to you don't have to go to thailand because everybody's going to thailand you don't have to go to uh, brazil because everybody's going to brazil you can go anywhere right you need to start working on your accent you see how you see how a lot of my r's are being rolled and that's because my parents are from Africa and I was born in the US. So I kind of dibbled and dabbled everywhere. So now I can kind of, and plus I speak a little bit of Spanish that I learned in the US, right? And I dated, you know, some Hispanic girls. I dated um, a Colombian girl. I dated a couple of Mexican girls. I dated uh, Cuban girls. I dated girls from all over. So I learned Spanish. I'm one of my ex two years that I did it for two years. She, she's from Alicante, Spain. Alicante is on the coast of Spain. I did it in Miami, right? All these girls, I did it in the US. Well, not all of them. My my Colombian girlfriend, I did it in Colombia. I used to go to Colombia to see her. Uh, the Spanish girl I dated, I dated her in Miami. And she moved back to Spain because she didn't like the US after her teaching contract was over. So you need to, there's, there's things you could do to start preparing yourself mentally, right? You need to figure out what country do I need? What kind of women do I like? What kind of culture do I like? What, what, what can I afford? What can I, what can I start saving so that I can at least have a lead way when I go? These are the things that you need to start considering, right? And of course you need a passport. If The first thing you need to do is get a passport because you can't go anywhere without it. If anything happens and the U.S. government, like the U.S. government is already saying the passport office is backed up, like the, the passports are backed up. They don't have enough passport books. And this is a way to slow down travel because they, they're trying to see there's an uptick of people applying for passports. They're gonna slow that down. Even when people started renouncing their citizenship, believe me or not, a lot of people are renouncing their American citizenship. The U.S. is the U.S. is not as great as people think. Like they, they show you guys a picture of what's going on, what they want you to see, because they control the media and the perception of of everyone. But what's going on in the back end is different. A lot of people are filing to not be U.S. citizens anymore, because U.S. is the one of the only places where you still have to pay U.S. taxes no matter where you go around the world, right? There's ways around it, of course. So, and to renounce the citizenship went up 3,000%, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Now it's, I think, over $3,000 to renounce the citizenship. So they're making it really hard. Like, if you're the best and greatest country in the world, why are you bullying people to, why are you bullying people to, to kind of, it's like a, it's like a gang or gangster trying to bully you that you can't leave. Or if you leave, there's going to be repercussions or they're making it hard for you to leave. So now all these things you need to think of if you want to leave the West. You need to start thinking about getting a passport, thinking about what countries you want to live in. What do you want, right? Do you want to save money on taxes? Do you want more feminine women? What kind of women are you interested in? You like uh, Saudi Arabian women? You like African women? What what kind? What, what do you like? So you need to start working on that and working on visiting those countries short term because that's cheaper. So you can kind of get a feel of those countries. Um, also, the next thing you need to do is start uh, saving for that, fixing your credit, having options of having credit so you can use that as well. Like one of my friends bought a, I said in some of my previous videos, he bought a condo in Bogota. He transferred his $25,000 credit limit and he transferred it to his bank account and he used that to buy his condo in Bogota. He rented it out. He's paying that back and then he used another credit card to buy another property in in Catayana and this is in Colombia. So he has two properties now and he's, he paid back the first credit card. Now he's paying back the second credit card, right? So now it's like getting a loan and then you're paying it back, but you already have property that is in your name. You have two properties in another country. So these are smart things that you can do to start trying to get away from the West. And the third thing you need to do is start looking for income uh, as a digital nomad, as an expat, right? Because in some countries, to get a visa, you need some kind of income. Maybe some of them require you to have $1,000 a month to be coming in or a retirement visa to have $1,800 to come in. Or if you're retired military and you're getting income, that's be easy for you, right? You're already having that income come in and you can just you can just see what income you're getting. If it's $1,800 a month, you can go to countries where you can live 
for 800 a month and then save that thousand dollars because in the u.s how many of you are saving a thousand dollars right you might think 1800 a month is low but it's not low depending on where you are there's some countries you can go to right now and comfortably live off 600 a month right like everything is cheap if your rent is 300 350 you still have 250 to play with, or maybe 200. And that 200, you might think it's low because you're thinking about that in dollars in the in the American market. But when you go to other countries, your groceries might be $40 for the month or $30 for the month. Like you have to really think outside the box, right? You can leave the West. A lot of you guys are so limited in your thinking because you've been brainwashed that you think you're never going to be able to leave. One customer service job or one little job can get you out of the U.S., but you just have to do your research. You have to do your research. $30,000, 30, $32,000 a year, you're already, you're already a first-class citizen in, in a lot of these countries. In most countries outside the U.S., $30,000, $32,000 a year, $15,000, $16 an hour doing a remote job can get you to the high 1% in some of these other countries. So you need to start thinking about that. And then you get your passport, of course, and then start working on what visa do you need in these countries. And you need to start visiting, right? If you have two weeks two weeks uh, vacation, you need to start thinking about visiting these countries. You buy your ticket and get the cheapest Airbnb in the nicest areas. Also, you can go on YouTube and find digital nomads that have been to these countries and kind of tell you what kind of areas you can stay in when you visit so you won't be in the bad areas. There's so much research out there that you can use to your advantage. You don't have to stay in the West. You don't have to be ashamed to stay in the West. All you have to do is grow up here and start doing your research. The more research you do, the more you liberate your mind. And wow, I didn't think I can do this. for tw I'm, I can get this small job for $25,000 a year and live like a boss. I can't believe this. But yes, please believe it. Because those people in those countries are living off, they're living off, they're living on five thousand a year, four thousand a year, and those people are like looked at as, wow, you make five thousand a year, right? You're making you're making four times that, five times that, and if you get a job making fifty, sixty, seventy thousand dollars a year, you're able to buy almost whatever property you want in those places easily, right? You're able to live in whatever area you want to live in. You're able to invest more. You're able to even travel the world, outside. Of, of, of those countries. Another thing that you guys are not considering is it's very hard to travel outside the U.S. because it's very expensive. But if you already live in Southeast Asia, let's say you already live in Thailand, you, you have access to all of Asia and Europe for cheaper than if you were living in the U.S. and maybe Africa and maybe even the Middle East, depending on where you are, right? If you live in Thailand, Cambodia is at your fingertips. Uh, you have Bali, Indonesia, you have Philippines, you have all these other countries, you have Turkey, you have all, and then Europe is right there, you can do a Euro tour, and once you're in Europe, it's easy to travel inside Europe. When I went, when I did my Euro tour, all my flights and trains from country to country was not more than $20, $30 for flights and uh, for trains. So, for example, when I went from London to Paris, it was $20 uh, and it's a two and a half hour fast train, right? When I got to France, I took a flight to Italy. That was another $35. And the hotels and were cheap. You have hostels if you like that. So you have options to visit these countries to see where you want to be. You, you don't have to be stuck in the West thinking you don't have a way out. You need to plan these things for, you know, you need to take the steps that I just gave you a passport, you need to start saving money, working on a remote job, think about what countries you want to live in, think about what research. Some of these countries you don't, even, you don't even have to visit. You could just plan for one or two years and just go, you know. But a lot of you still haven't grown the balls. Some of you have been emasculated your whole lives that you're living in fear. You, the fear of leaving the U.S. is just like, oh, I don't want to leave this secure location. I don't know what's going to happen. Whereas you'd be way better off in these other places, you know. So you just have to grow a heart, and a lot of people are doing it for less. I know, I know people that are backpacking throughout the world with nothing. I know people that are literally backpacking throughout throughout the whole world with just one backpack, and they're just going, and that's how they live. 
you know, so you, you can do it too. You have options. You just have to grow a mind. You have to, you have to grow a mind. You have to determine what you want. You know, if you want something in life, it's up to you to get it. It's up to you. It just, it does depend on how fed up you are with that life that will push you and motivate you to, to, to get out and go somewhere else. And if you need more information in depth about traveling, if you want to, if you want some motivation, if you want some courage, if you want some advice, book a consultation, right? Like consultations are not free. Consultations are not free. I know some of you people email me and, and ask for consultations and you think it's free. Guys, you have to invest in yourself, right? You have to invest in yourself. And if you're not willing to invest in yourself, then stay over there in the West. Keep doing what you're doing. Good luck. Don't complain. Uh, to us about not living a fulfilled life if you're staying over there where you're oppressed as a man, where you have no rights. So that's the thing I'm going to tell you today. Like, subscribe, please share this video. These are the steps where you can start to get out of the West. You need to start mentally, and then for mentally, you need to start preparing yourself, getting your passport, getting this and getting that. Also, support the channel. I have the Cash App details in the description below. I have the Venmo details in the description below. And again, if you need advice, if you need courage, if you need, if you need someone to talk to, if you need a friend, if you need, if you need any kind of encouragement, book a consultation, right? And you will be able to get more insight about how to travel, how to prepare yourself from a guy that's moved overseas, from a guy that's been to over 15 countries, that have been all over the world, and is living outside of the U.S., happily living outside of the U.S. All right? Thank you very much. Peace. Until another time. Until another video. We out.